guys, it's Christina. So, you might have noticed this updated tag going around the beauty community here on YouTube, which is the Most Worn Things Summer Edition tag. And actually, it's an update of an older version of this tag that a lot of people have been doing. So, so I was tagged by someone to do it, and I'm going to put her screen name right here. And she was sweet enough to tag me because I wasn't sure at first if I should do it or not because I had already done it when it first came out. And it was called the 8 Most Worn Things tag and I did it like a long time ago. If you've been on the YouTube beauty community for a while, you might have remember it. Um, I did it back in 2010. That was like the first year that I was doing videos and it just looks like so weird now that I watch it. I'm like, what the heck was I thinking? Like my videos, like first of all, I was filming with a webcam, you know, not an actual camera. And two, you know, my lighting was orange. It made me look like freaking snooky, you know, but I wasn't that tan. I was just it was just the wrong lighting because I used to always film at night and the lamp that I had used gave me like a weird glow like it was a yellow lamp so it just made me look orange I don't know it just and I've changed since then so if you want to watch it I will link it down below because I think it's funny but everything has changed like the way I make videos the way I look and everything like that so it's just like really old but it's still kind of the same concept so I wasn't sure if I should do this tag but now that she tagged me I feel like I have to do it and I told her I would so so this is kind of like the most worn things tag combined with the summer edition so it's kind of like monthly favorites for the summer together with the most worn things so it's kind of like a combination it's like two in one so yeah let's go ahead and get started so first one is the most worn nail polish and whenever I'm not wearing my Fake nails, which is not acrylics, like I don't go to the salon, I just do the little press on ones that you buy at the drugstore. Whenever I don't have those on, I just wear a really bright nail polish and the, oops, the lighting is like on there, you can't see it, but it's pink. Um, But I wear like really bright nail polish in the summer, I just like bright colors. I used to wear like all black or whatever, I rewatched my old tag and I was like, what? You know, I just would wear like black nail polish. Um. A white nail polish but now I like to wear colors if I'm not doing like a neutral like French nails which is like the press-ons so I would wear like mint or yellow or purple or like a baby pink color so just something bright and fun for the summer and then I mentioned this in my last favorites video this is just a sparkly nail polish by Revlon and I put this over everything I would put this over my regular nail color or over my press-ons and it just makes everything like so much more sparkly and glammed up Next is the most worn hair product, and I'm going to have to pick this one by Organics. This is the Brazilian Keratin Therapy Flat Iron Spray, which is a heat protectant, and it smells so good. It's like perfect for the summer because it's got that sweet scent, and I love sweet smells, like delicious smells. And this is actually a line that I'm using um, because I do, do like keratin treatments in my hair because my hair is really curly naturally. So I have like the mask right here, and I have the shampoo and conditioner, and they all smell so good, like they smell really good, plus they don't have like the bad ingredients like the sulfates and the sodiums and stuff like that that are bad for your hair, you know, so I love this. Next is the most worn bag, and I actually love my Juicy Couture bag still. This is the bag that I had in my What's in My Bag video, and it just looks like this. It's a daydreamer style, and I love it because one, it's cute, I love Juicy, and two, it just goes with everything, it's black, and it's like a neutral color, it's like a nude, so it goes with gold and silver. It's not like one metal on it. So I really like it a lot, and it fits all of my stuff in it, and it's kind of daytime, so if I am going out at night, obviously I'm going to switch to like a clutch, or, you know, if I feel like doing some colorful looks in the daytime, I'm going to wear like a bright pink purse or something like that, or, you know, or a golden purse or whatever goes in my outfit if I'm in the mood that day. But this is the bag that I've been using a lot. The next is more sworn shoes, and they're probably my new wedges that I bought at Charlotte Russe. I showed these off in a haul and they just look like this. They're pretty. I love wedges because they're comfortable. They're not heels, but at the same time, they make your outfit a lot dressier than you would look if you just wore flats or, you know, flat sandals or flip flops or something like that, you know. But they're still comfy and they're not too dressy like heels. You know, you don't want to be walking around in heels going to like a picnic, you know, do you? Not really. And I bought these on sale at Charlotte Russe and, like I said, I had them in a haul before, but I also Instagram pictures with these and tweet it and you know all that stuff and put them up on my blog so if you don't follow me on Twitter and Instagram you probably should I'm gonna link them down below so you guys can check it out if you're interested because I do post outfit of the day pictures there and just fashion related stuff that I don't post on YouTube because I don't have time to film a video every single time I dress up you know what I mean okay next is most one accessories and I've really been into the whole arm candy trend this season like 
first I was like, oh, that's kind of like wearing too much stuff in your, you know, wrist. But I don't like to wear like too much stuff where it's like all the way up here. I just like piling on a bit of jewelry for like arm candy. And this trend has been going around all like Instagram, Pinterest and stuff like that. And I even bought a couple watches to go with it, like a white one and a black one because I don't normally wear watches. So the trend is all about like piling stuff on together. And so I just put white and gold here and some pink that goes with my shirt. So I've been all into that trend so just like arm candy I love but also I have these studs on that I actually don't take off I use I have so many earrings and I don't use them anymore I used to always match my outfits but I don't anymore because I have these in all the time because one my grandmother bought them for me when I was in Ukraine so they are special to me and two uh, they are gold so they're not like just once you take off you have to screw them on it's really annoying to like take them off and put them back on every time like you know I don't do that every single day for like every uh, one of my outfits now like I used to all the time like switch earrings now I just take them out if it's like special occasion and I'm dressing like up in a gown or what have you then I switch them out but I guess they are my most worn but I don't really count them because they're just little studs you know so I would say both my arm candy and my studs I guess then next is most worn clothing item and I had to think about this for a little bit because I was like what do I wear like I switched things up a lot but I figured it out I wear a lot of shorts in the summer it doesn't matter what color or what material I just like shorts period and I just grabbed a couple from my drawer just to show you guys. So I would wear like jean shorts, you know, or these jean shorts, well, they're jean too, but they're like bright yellow or just material ones that are black. Or I have some white jean shorts too, just like shorts in general because one, they're perfect for the weather, you know, you're not hot. And two, you can dress them down or dress them up. So you can dress them down during the day with like a bathing suit. You can just put on a bathing suit and shorts and look normal, you know. But then you can also wear shorts for like nighttime and put them on with like heels or like a really pretty top or like wedges and stuff like that and look dressy, you know, but still not be like too hot. So I just like to wear them a lot. Okay, next is most fun foundation. And I've been using these two foundations together. I've matte. What is wrong with this camera? It keeps like unfocusing. What, what the hell? Okay, I hope it's done like seizing or whatever it was doing. Um, so like I said, I like to use these two foundations together. I've had these in my favorites videos and stuff like that. But Revlon Photo Ready has been my favorite foundation for like years now. And I do still like it. But it is a lot of coverage and it's like not as lightweight for summer as I would want it to be. So I used this one from Stila and this is just the one step. It's like a mousse consistency instead of like liquid, but this one gives you better coverage and it's great for pictures, but this one is better like, you know, for summer just like of this consistency, so I kind of just mix them together to use every single day. Okay, next is your most worn bronzer and blush, and for blush, actually it's my Loric one that I showed you guys in my tutorials and a haul. It's just kind of like a dark pink color. But it looks really pretty. I have it on right here, like on my cheeks today. And it's called Soul and Me, or Soul, I'm not sure. But I actually never used to wear blush. Like, I wore it like when I was like in middle school or something. And then I just stopped wearing it for years. And then I fell in love with this blush when it came into, when it came in the Laura kit. And I just love it now. It's perfect for the summer. It gives you like that pretty kind of flush on your face. And then for the bronzers for my face, I love my Sunny by NYC. This is a matte bronzer that everyone I think loves here on YouTube. It's just super matte and I just use it to kind of contour like on my cheeks, underneath my jaw and stuff like that. And then this one is Glitterati by Victoria's Secret and it's a bit more shimmery. It's not as shimmery as my um, Stila Kitten highlight so I don't use that one in the summer because it's like too shimmery and it's better like it's better for like winter. This one is a bit less shimmery so I use that to highlight like up here on my cheeks. And then for my body, I love this Bath & Body Bronzer. It's actually been discontinued. It's called Bronze Bombshell. I love it because it's, one, really pretty. Like, it gives you a really pretty touch of, like, shimmer all over your arm or your legs. Like, when you're going, like when you're going out, you put it on your legs and it looks great. And you just put it in the center here. And, two, I love it because it's portable. Like, you can take it with you anywhere. Like, it just closes up like this so the brush doesn't stick out. And, three, I love it because you can refill it. So, even if I'm out of this one, um... I try to like save it now because it's like been discontinued but even when I 
get done with this. I can just unscrew the top and put different bronzer in here and just use the container. So I really like it. And it smells good too. Then for my favorite lip product, yes, I still love my Maybelline Pink Please. This is a color that I've loved since I first tried it. It's the perfect pink. I've tried so many other pinks and I tried to find dupes for this color because they stopped making it as well. But I just haven't found the perfect color that match that satisfies me as this one does. And I love it so much. Like, I still use it. Obviously, I still use other lipsticks that I have. And I put different glosses over it. Like, today I have it on with the NYX gloss. But it's still my favorite, like, all-time favorite ever. Then for my most worn mascaras, I've been using these two right here. One from Lorac, one from Lancome. And I always do mascara combinations. I always love putting together, like, a volumizing mascara with a lengthening one. And it just gives me the lashes that I want. And the one from Lorac I use for volume. And then the one from Lancome I use for length. And when I don't use these, I normally use the L'Oreal Voluminous and L'Oreal Telescopic for volume and length. And I really do love those a lot. I'm not like a high-end brand whore or whatever, but I just happen to have these right now because they came in different sets. Like one came in a Lorac kit and one came in a Lancome kit. I just have to use these so they don't dry up, but I really do like these a lot. And then for my most worn eyeshadow, yes, I've been loving my Lorac one. And my Victoria's Secret one and everything like that, but I still would have to say that my preference lies with the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips, which you can use as a bronzer or an eyeshadow. This is, this is a set of five different um, colors in here. As you can see, I hit pants. It's kind of hard to see. But it has five different colors, like browns and bronzes and a golden color at the end. And they're so, so pretty and shimmery and longer lasting. I just love these so much. They're like $12 at the drugstore. This is like probably my third one. And I've tried other shadows and I still love this one a lot. And yes, I do have a tutorial using this, so I will link that down below if you want to watch it. It's just like a golden kind of smoky eye for the summertime, and you just use this one palette for the whole eye, so it's really convenient. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tag, and I'm going to tag everyone else out there. If you are watching this, I will tag you, and if you want to do this video, even if you don't do fashion videos, you can just do this just for fun. You know, everybody can do this tag. Like I said, you don't have to be like a beauty guru or anything like that. Don't be shy to make a video, and leave it as a video response to mine so I can watch it, and I'm going to put all the people that I'm tagging down below just in case I forget people, but I am tagging everyone that I did collab giveaways with, so all of those like 20 girls or whatever I'm going to put down below as well, and then also I'm going to tag... Um, Stuff from SMLX Zero and Holly and Ari, even though I don't know if she does tags like this, but hopefully she'll do it. And then uh, Bethany from I Want to See One Video, and then It's Blondie, and then Heidi Cupcake. I just started watching her, but I really like her videos a lot, so hopefully she does it too. Money Love Steph, and Andrea's Choice, and Penny from Pink and Bluish. I know she doesn't do videos anymore, but maybe she'll do this tag, I don't know. I'll try to tag her. And GC Star 7, Dulce Candy 87, everyone that does these videos. And Chelsea from Close to Real and Mel from Makeup by Mel and just everyone out there. I tag all of these gurus and just everyone out there that wants to do this tag, just do it. It's fun. So yeah, that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.